Let's see how we can create our own custom properties. Yes, yes, we can create properties to components from variants. We design different variants and then we make a property to the component out of them. It could be either a list or even something that we can turn on and off, which is actually a Boolean property, but our own custom property. And of course, I will show how to do that. So let's see how it goes. And I will start with a simple example of this chip, this button, which is also, let's say, uh, can be removable, like uh, when you are in a website selecting filters, and then you have them lined up with an X button that you can also remove them basically something like that okay so i can double click this one and i can give it a boolean property just reminding you that uh, i can do it up from here from the appearance i can click and i will click here show remove or let's say yeah I will, let's say we show remove that's okay and i create this property so that means that now when i take an instance of it so yes i can switch it on and off here, show remove or not, and we have that functioning okay. But what if, okay, what if let's say we want to create a bit of a different look, meaning I'm gonna detach this one and I want to design something like that. So I wanna give this one just, uh, I don't know, kind of like, you know what, let's do it from here something like that and i want here to go with the auto layout the padding but i want to give it here a different padding to kind of like be around that round icon so here i can go ahead and do this okay so if i do this that means okay great it's looking good this is the way i want it to look very nice but what happens now if i okay i'm gonna make it a component and i will give it now a boolean property let's create a boolean property for this one as well and you will see that now when i take an instance of this component now i have uh, not even uh, different padding actually not even different uh, padding from the left side and the right side. So if I will turn this icon off now, hmm, that's not looking good. But what if I want, this is the way that I want my component to be. We can do that. Okay, so let's see how to do that. I'm gonna take another copy of this one and I'm going to detach instance and I will make a cheap, let's say, uh, remove let's say you know what cheap uh let's call it um removable okay yeah it took me a minute to think about the uh, about the name of it and this one is going to be uh let's say uh non removable like that Okay, we're going to have kind of like with an icon and without an icon. Good. Now, what I'm going to do here is I will delete this one. I will give it the same padding as here, 16. And now we will connect them. Let's put it here. And now I will connect them to be a component set. Click here, create component set, meaning create a component with two variants. In this case it's a it's a chip component not a ship a chip <laughs> okay and now uh, see what i do first of all i can of course give this one the text property let's call it label okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to do a property which is property non-removable and removable i'm going to call it let's say uh, oh, you know what? Let's do it like that. Removable. And this one, it's going to be in order to create it a Boolean. To create a Boolean property, I can work with yes, no, true, false, on, off. These are a pair of words that Figma understands as 
creating with it a toggle that I can switch on and off. Let's see how it happens. Removable, is it removable? Yes. So I'm gonna write here, yes. This one, is it removable? No. So I'm gonna write here, no, not none, no. Okay, now look at the magic now. I can select this one. I will take an instance of it. And now if I will make it not removable, so you see that now mm, it works nice, right? Let's call it uh, some cheap label like that. And if I will make it now removable, Okay, you see, perfect, works nice. So you see how what is the difference or how, yeah, how to create that difference when we want to create a custom property, we can control better in some cases, for example, a Boolean property like that, and we can make it working, functioning better. Because at the end of the day, when you take this um, this instance and you work with it on a screen, you don't care, honestly, how many variants does it actually have. Some variants, if you check Apple's design system, meaning the iOS, Android, and so on, you will see that some of these buttons, they have like 30 variants. From like, they do uh, all the possible situations with the buttons, and then they put it into one big button component, and then you can switch on, off, change statuses, and so on. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, see another example. So we have the famous content cards, kind of like TripAdvisor style. But anyway, let's say that I have a bunch of them. I want to have different sizes and I want to have them also horizontal or vertical. Mm. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to select them all together. Okay, now let's create a component set and we're going to get probably a message with an eye icon that informs you that you're going to have or that you are having uh, a lot of variants a lot. We have six in this case, which is can be considered as a lot, depends how you look at it. <laughs> but when I do that, you see that here it tells you, hey, dude, listen, you have variants more than one with the same name. So that already hmm, doesn't work very well or it's not going to change your variants uh, when you try to switch between them and so on. So this one is called default. And surprisingly, this one and this one and this one and this one and this one, all of them have the same name. For God's sake. Anyway, let's fix it. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm going to do like that. Let's kind of like arrange the properties to work, to make it work perfect. Okay, attraction card. This is how I called it. And now I'm going to call this property um, size. Okay, so let's call it, uh, you know what, direction direction so this one hey what's going on here behave yourself so this one all these three are horizontal right so i'm gonna write here horizon no i didn't write it good i saw i was figuring uh, or like uh, uh, acknowledging my mistake as i'm typing it horizontal Okay, still, we're having this message. We're going to fix it in a minute. And all these three are going to be vertical. So we got that sorted out. Now, let's add another variation uh, or another, sorry, another property. We're going to add another property. If you were thinking about size, douze fois you were thinking right. Okay, so we're gonna have another property. I'm gonna select the component and here I'm gonna hit the plus and now we are going to select property from variants. This is exactly how it is done from the beginning. So 
clicking on that i'm going to call this property if you thought again size douze poids so size okay and right now i'm not going to define here nothing create property now check this out this and this are the big ones right so here at the size i'm gonna write mr big here it is this one and this one is actually the medium mid medium uh, medium that's okay <laughs> medium size uh and or we can call it uh, never mind and this and this are the small okay so now as you see first of all that a uh, uh, icon that was shout shouting on us that we are doing something wrong disappeared okay so now let's take this one i'm gonna drag this variant out and you'll see that now imagine we're building a screen we have that direction horizontal or vertical mm, nice and we can select if we want the big or the medium and also we can select the big and we want it to be horizontal nice you see so this is kind of like how we create now let's go crazy really crazy and we want the same with strokes okay maybe sometimes on a screen we want to have the same cards with strokes now stroke is a design property okay it's a design property that means that you cannot have a preset of it so we can have design property it means stroke color uh, not state because state we can say disable but let's say that i want the same cards in a different color or i mean in this case maybe it's not so weak it's more like a theme dark and light so we create it with variables but if i want let's say buttons in different colors let's say that i want uh, to have buttons in orange black white uh, green blue whatever depends how um, colorful my product is let's go ahead and create a stroke property now you'll be surprised or maybe not yes if you're thinking about so we're gonna have to uh, let's say duplicate all the variants that we have here yes we do do we care about how many variants we actually have not really because we can have here also 50 variants if we want so why not anyway let's go ahead and i'm gonna make this one bigger i call it the variant cage because <laughs> it's look they all look like they're in a cage i'm gonna duplicate them and will i'm hitting the i'm holding not hitting holding the alt pc option mac with a shift to drag them in a straight vertical way like that okay so we have them all copied and we are shout being shouted on again <laughs> with reason that's okay so anyway i'll make this smaller and now i will create another property and if you guess that the name of it is going to be stroke you got it right so i'm clicking here variant and i'm gonna call it stroke okay not giving a value yet i'm gonna select actually all these variants and i want to give them a stroke how surprising i'm gonna click here the stroke and i'm gonna give them kind of like a bit of a lighter one something like that okay so this is going to be our stroke i can decide if i want it one pixel two pixel anyway let's leave it like that okay so we have ones with a stroke or without a stroke of course depends on the screen situation and what do we actually need so what do we do now we now have to put all the variants meaning the 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 important technical thing to understand is that when we create a property we need 
to refer all the variants to it, meaning give them a value against this property. Sometimes it's just a list, okay? Each one has its own name. And sometimes it's a Boolean that we can switch on and off. Okay, so let's select all these. I'm selecting all the first bunch. And do they have a stroke? No, I'm going to write here, no. I'm going to select all this bunch. Do they have a stroke? Yes, they do. So I'm going to write here, yes. And as I said, it's the same thing if I would write on and off, true or false. It's the same thing for me. It's kind of like intuitive to work with a yes and no. It doesn't really matter. Technically, it's the same thing. So I will drag this guy out like that. Okay. And now you will see that, okay, let's give it a, let's take the medium one. We will make it horizontal. And now we want to have it with a stroke. Boom. Now we have a stroke. You see, so I can have it with a stroke or without a stroke. See, that's how it's done. And the thing is that you can go and create, of course, as many uh, properties as you need and want, because at the end of the day, you really think about it, it doesn't really matter how many variants you have here, as long as you have what you need on your screens and build in a good way that doesn't mess up your consistency, your designs, and so on. And this is how you can keep your consistency working with the same sizes, proportions. And, and the reason is that when we work, the kind of like, again, I'm explaining the, uh, the uh, basic logic that stands behind it. The, the logic of it, the understanding of it will be that uh, when we work with screen elements in a product, so we want to keep consistency, meaning if we use a small card at this case, in this case, so of course, all the small cards that we use everywhere, the, uh, let's say the structure of them will be the same if they are horizontal, if they are vertical, if they are, let's say, okay, also in the look and feel, meaning if they have a stroke, they don't have a stroke, what will be the size of the font and so on. When we have them as templates built as components, it is very easy for us to keep the consistency of the product and not having kind of like uh, starting to get messy with creating too many screen items that do not look like they are, let's say, or that they belong to the same family. So this is the whole reason for it. And of course, they do have also the other, let's say, um, the other, sorry, they do have the, or we can do the other properties for them. Of course, we can create a text property and we can create, uh, meaning this property, meaning the title, and we can do a property, a text property for the price, and we can do a text property for the views and so on, as we have learned in the other lessons as well. So variant properties, meaning customized properties that we can create any uh, type of property that we need for a component in order to have uh, either a list to select from, or a switch to turn on and off, variant properties, here we come. So guys, um, again, of course that I'm hoping that this uh, lesson wasn't uh, too challenging, it was understandable, and of course that I will see you in the next lesson. See you in a bit.